All right, forget everything. I don't care about anything else anymore. I don't care if I got bamboozled with Christmas Lissa three times in a row. I don't care if I got a five-star Soren and a five-star Brave Ike on a Christmas banner. And that broke my pity rate in the process. I don't care anymore because you know what? You know what? Azura got a new skin. I don't care about anything else. <laughs> Nothing. This is all that matters to me right now. I am grinding the hell out of Tempest Trials. You don't even know what squad I'm at right now because it is going up by the minute. Right now, I'm playing Tempest Trials right now. If you think I'm lying, no, I'm kidding. I'm not really playing it right now, but. <laughs> Bro, the New Year's banner has been revealed. Well, technically, it got leaked like two days ago. I don't know why they leaked it in the first place. I thought they would release the, um, the patches like on a day of the trailer. But anyway, you got your girl Azura in the building. Let's look at this girl. She is a flying dancer, a flying dancer. Her weapon is the Hagoita. Ooh, that's a clean, that's a, that's a nice, that rolled up my tongue well. Ooh, you heard that? Hagoita, that really rolls up my tongue. I like the way that sounds. Hagoita grants plus two resistance and defense during combat and two allies within two spaces. Not Nothing really special there. Um, she gets Sing. Which is, you know, that's self-explanatory. You know what that is. Sing, dance. Um, Earth Dance 3, if sing or dance is used, grants plus 5 defense to target. Okay, that's new. So that's basically gives her a niche with her sing ability. And she gets home flyers. Mm, she, she looks solid. I can see a lot more going on for her. Just, just a flyer mage. That's all I can say about it. But she looks amazing. I like her art. But the thing is, why is she wearing shoes? <laughs> Bro, I feel like that is that's the most cursed thing about her right now, man. She is wearing shoes. Well, not really shoes or sandals, but still. <laughs> Let's go on to our next hero. Not the Prince of Soup. Are you kidding me? God forbid. The Prince of Soup. Who who came up? Who did this? Who did this? The Prince of Soup, man. <laughs> we got Takumi. Takumi is a shuriken user, the worst class in the game. I feel bad for you. I really do. Now, Takumi skill. The Kagami Mochi plus accelerate special trigger. Cooldown count minus one. So it's basically like a killing edge or slaying edge. After combat, if unit attacked, inflicts minus seven defense and resistance on target and foes within two spaces through their next actions. So that is a massive debuff. That is actually a big debuff. So he basically gets... I, I believe this works similar to Death Dagger, which Jafar has. But the thing that Jafar, Jaf Jafar doesn't have with his weapon is the killing edge aspect of his weapon. So that's kind of a niche of Takumi that he got going on there. He gets Moonbow and he gets attack, resist bomb 3, grants plus 5 attack and resistance to this unit. During combat, if unit is adjacent to an ally, and he gets Bowbreaker 3. Man, that, that's cool. I don't know if he would be good or not, but Takumi, being a shuriken user is pretty tough. And I think you all know that to an extent. In this game, shuriken users are like just underwhelming as hell. So I hope he has something going for him. But anyway, we got... Man, we... <laughs> I don't know what happened, man. They bamboozled the hell out of Hanoka. This was her banner. This was Hanoka's banner. And Camilla took it from her. <laughs> Camilla takes everything away from Hanoka. I'm tired of this. I'm actually tired of it. First, Camilla takes her brother. Takes Hanoka's brother away from his home. Corn away from his home. And now she take her, take her out of her own banner? Like, are you kidding me? Camilla, you aren't even from Hoshido. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> the theme of this banner is like Hoshi is very Hoshiden like. Camilla has no place here. I'm sorry, but like what the hell are you doing here? But anyway, you got Camilla. It really doesn't matter. She looks cool. I like it. I to be honest, I'm getting tired of being shoved down my throat because she's so damn repetitive, man. Give me Hinoka. But anyway, we got Camilla. She has the Kadumatsu. Mm, these names sounded kind of clean, man. I like the way they sound. Mm. Grants plus two defense and resistance during combat to allies within two spaces. She gets Draconic Aura. 
and she gets okay that's new speed defense bond three grants plus five speed and defense to unit during combat if adjacent to an ally and then she gets ward flyer three so so far all i can say is that this banner is looking really good for um fire emblem right now because if you haven't known the i think it's i think it's called the eot shield it's been released with the tempest charge you can get it as a sacred seal so you can put that as a sacred seal in your flyer and be immune to super effective damage such as bows which flyers have a really big problem with in arena right now especially with brave Lin. so right now it's looking kind of nice for a fire emblem i will definitely be upgrading my fire emblem team with my azura or my camilla if i get either of them but i will be aiming for azura because you know me that that's that's my girl i gotta go for her man i have to <laughs> it's a necessity but all right where, where the hell is corn what corn's not in here i'm looking at the trailer right what where the hell is corn no way he's not oh my god he's not in the game i mean he's not he's not in the banner he's in a game but he's not in the banner what is this corn is not in the banner <laughs> what okay this this can be a good thing in a lot of ways this can be a good thing in a lot of ways but it, it can also be a bad thing because i have no idea what their intention is let's get to the, the good stuff they could release corn as a free unit I, on new year's that would be a surprise if they release corn as a free unit to everybody just as a new year's present that would be cool the other well another good thing is that um since takumi and corn are both colorless because i believe from the leaks corn was actually a bow user so you don't have to worry about colorless colorless hell being that bad so you can get takumi separate from corn so that's a good thing but the bad the bad stuff is we don't know what's going to happen afterwards because i hope they don't pull another ira i hope they learn a lesson with that they better not put corn in another in another banner with some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like giving me a get, put a damn healer with corn in another banner they better not do that but i i pray i pray they don't they better not because i will be very upset i'm not trying to pull corn but i will be upset for other people who want corn because they they better they better stand up to their word and keep it the way they've been doing it so far but that's the new year's banner the the units are really good i like them Maybe it's up talking. He looks kind of underwhelming. That goes for every other shirt can use it, to be honest. But it looked good. I like it. Now, you all have a good day. I'm gone. Peace.